Okay. So, this has to do with... Uh, I saw this on, on a subreddit, uh, Virginia Guns, no, VA Guns, um, and this pertains to Fairfax County Public Schools. Uh, I don't live in Fairfax County. I live in a an adjacent uh, county of them, and I pay attention to what the other counties are doing because sometimes what they're doing kind of trickles to to the to any uh, adjacent states. Um, Fairfax County is left-leaning um, as far as guns and schooling is concerned uh, especially compared to the county that I live in uh, but um, I want to read this first and, and I'll read this it should take no more than three minutes from top to bottom I mean it's a very small uh, notification but it is from the superintendent of Fairfax County uh, Public Schools uh, Dr. Michelle Reed uh, this is a uh, she just started the job pretty much and in my opinion starting off on a bad foot with this with this notification so it was sent yesterday out to uh, the school system parents um, it says dear Fairfax County Public Schools parent slash guardian uh, keeping our keeping our students and staff safe in schools is a team effort we must all work together to support and educate our children in FCPS we have built-in lessons on gun safety into our curriculum I ask that parents and guardians reinforce this message at home by talking to your children about gun safety as well an estimated 4.6 million children in the U.S. live in households with at least one loaded unlocked firearm. And that's linked there. Uh, keep, keep in mind that this is a screenshot of the email because this isn't posted on the FCPS website yet. I wasn't able to find it. So I'm using this screenshot that was posted to the subreddit. Um, a recent study found that about one in three gun owner uh, gun owners store their weapons loaded and unlocked. Virginia law requires gun owners to store firearms where a child is likely is un, is unlikely to gain access. Sadly, gun violence continues to impact communities across our nation. Already this school year. Two small children have gained access to guns and brought them to schools in Texas and Arizona. On May 24, 2022, 21 lives were lost in a mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Research shows that secure firearm storage is associated with up to an 85% reduction in the risk of self-inflicted and unintentional firearms injuries amongst children and teens. For more information on secure firearm storage, please review these resources from the U.S. Department of Justice or see the Gun Safety and Storage Resources page on the FCPS website. Thank you for your partnership in keeping our schools safe, uh, safe places for our children, children to learn and grow. So we'll stop there. I'm going to get my bearings and then we'll continue on. All right, so we've read the uh, email from the Fairfax County Public School System uh, to the parents. Um, the, the elephant in the room or, or the red flag in this email is the fact that they're trying to talk to folks uh, about gun control. Yeah, bad taste. Anytime I say that word, it's bad taste in my mouth. Uh, it just lingers. Um, if you ask someone who is left-leaning, this isn't about gun control. This is about the school system doing their part to 
reach out to parents and discuss this. Um, the thing is, what goes on in my home is uh, is none of the school system's business. It's none of the government's business. Um, and they're out of their swim lane. This isn't something that they, they should be involved with. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a home thing, you know, and, and so I guess they're thinking that they have the right to do this or they have the, they certainly don't have the know how because this email comes off to me as condescending. Why? Uh, because, okay, it starts out with, we must all work together. But then they're kind of dictating what parents should do here. So that's one. Uh, as well, um, why are they lumping in the Uvalde shooting with, with all of this? Because uh, the theme here is that homeowners and, and parents aren't securing their guns in their house. They're, they're, they're not ensuring that they're unloaded and they're not... Uh, ensuring that they're in a safe or a lock, lock box or something, right? But then, what the fuck does the Uvalde shooting have to do with all of that? Why, why did they mention that? If you're familiar with the Uvalde shooter, he was 18. He obtained all of his guns legally. Um, his grandmother, it, it, it wasn't his grandmother's gun that he was using. It was his gun. Um, so, so. That has no. Oh, why would you even mention that? It's a different type of gun violence. That guy followed the law to get his guns. Um, and plus, why are you lumping in uh, parents, even if parents did leave their guns out unattended? Uh, why are you lumping them in with someone whose intent? was to go and shoot someone with his own guns. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Um, they they mentioned, you know, that already in the school year, two small children have gained access to guns and brought them to schools in Texas and Arizona. I'm not familiar with the Arizona one. Uh, if they're going to mention that, they should they should give details. Because the more I read it, up until I read it up until the Uvalde Texas part and then I just said you know what this is this is bullshit now for for this video I went ahead and read it all uh, but initially um, I, I smelled a rat here and, and you know it's just someone someone didn't do their due diligence in screening this email uh, or maybe all left this think this way and they just start throwing out facts without kind of you know second checking themselves I, I don't know uh, but you know throwing throwing links within URLs does really nothing I mean throwing links within emails uh, really does nothing for me because all stats can be manipulated I don't know where this link is pointing to nor this one here but um and, and it's because this was provided to a subreddit, uh, several subreddit groups, groups, and they, uh, I guess this isn't the raw email that the, the parents received. It's a copy of it. It's an image of it, a screenshot. So uh, I can't access the links. But, you know, I work in the IT security field. I've been an IT security engineer um, and consultant for 19 years very close to 20 uh, we massage data all the time and that's what stats do you massage that data you take out parts of it to prove a point but it only tells one part of the story um, and that's usually the part that uh, doesn't really factor in to most business I guess processes you know it's you know if you got a, a huge sum of data you just need the data that you found that proves your point right uh, with this maybe they've done that but again 
when, when you start delving into rights and things like that, I don't think it's, I think it's disingenuous to take pieces of a story and use it without kind of telling the full story here. So, yeah, looking at that alone, without even looking at the URL behind it, 4.6 million children in the U.S. live in households with at least one load, one load in an unlocked firearm. If this was as huge of a problem as they're letting on, you would think that there will be a shitload more child uh, shootings due to loaded and unlocked firearms. So, so why is that? It, uh, you know, are there really that many children that live in homes with locked and loaded firearms? If so, then then why are, why isn't why isn't there more deaths? If, if it's as bad as they make it out, why are, why isn't there more deaths? Based on the way they're kind of spinning this, there should be 4.6 million dead children. And the way this whole email reads is, is like, as is if that county, which is a border county of mine, um, you would think that they were having a, a child shooting and, and, and death a day that's not the case and see that's the thing about that's the thing the thing about media they keep saying this and parroting this and parroting this and the people who don't do their, their due diligence and and researching and 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 kind of studying up about all of this not just one section or one thing that you care about uh all of it if, if people would do that this you know it would it would make emails such as this less harmful but the media spams the system we let them do it and uh, now there's people out there thinking that guns just walk up and shoot someone without a human behind it controlling it you know so so you know throwing all these links at people so my son I have one son and two daughters Two of my daughters are adults and my son is will be approaching 17 soon so uh, another falsehood about this email is this statement right here Virginia law requires gun owners to store excuse me to store firearms where a child is unlikely to gain access that's not how the law reads the law applies to children, gun owners with children who are f under 14. So, so this doesn't apply to my son. By law, this does not apply to my son. But they're making it out like all, you know, the law encompasses all dependents, all children. It doesn't. You know, see, there's things like that. And, and I mean, a leftist, a leftist would say, well, why does that matter? It, it matters a ton when you're trying to get someone to, when you're trying to instill trust in a discussion. So, uh, I already said that right off the bat, it started off with, we must all work together. Well, if, if you're in a partnership, there should be equal you know there should be equality among partners but the way this email spins off uh, Fairfax County Public Schools are saying no 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 your your son has been playing with guns he has brought a gun to the house or no 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 parent you have been leaving weapons in your house in an unsafe manner do you know what do they know what go on in my house no um, has my son brought home uh, brought uh, a weapon from home to school no. Uh, has my son done anything wrong? No. Has has a majority of the Fairfax County public school system had issues? A majority of them, have they had issues with any of this? Have, have they done anything to kind of give the school system uh, an indication that they're doing unsafe things in the house? A majority. No. No, it's one or two folks, 
probably in the county that that are ha that they're having issues with um, and you know what I I don't want gun violence in the in the school system I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I don't care but again I, I cannot control what other people do I can't control what they don't do and really I don't care I don't care I, I've got enough going on in my life where I shouldn't need to know or or be lumped in with my neighbor three houses down who doesn't practice safe gun you know gun safety so so yeah I feel I feel for that situation but what the fuck can I do as a, as as someone who lives two or three houses now what the hell can I do so so why why is this going out you know you know a, a leftist and I and I say I say you know this a leftist would say this because I've already seen the comments from some from from people that are leftists on these subreddits regarding this email so so I already, I've already seen it uh, and just because you own a gun as a leftist doesn't mean that that you as a leftist and a gun owner get to dictate what I might want to do with a gun and might not want to do with a gun so I don't leave guns unattended in my house because of my 17 year old but that doesn't mean just because someone else does it doesn't mean that I'm going to allow a public county uh, a county public school to get in my home business um, no matter how many shootings happen you know uh, you know I don't I don't ask you know people will be really upset if the school system started asking things that were not gun related and behind someone's closed door of their home so why is this being allowed because for the children that that excuse has to stop because all it's doing is it it's allowing one instance of what some people are concerned about dictate law and and what what government gets away with and if it could happen with this and and if it becomes commonplace the next thing you know they're going to be coming for something that is not gun related and it is an invasion of home privacy and because it's commonplace it'll be allowed to happen then too so so i i, I don't believe in this email it sets a wrong tone um and I am glad it was published because typically what we see around here is what might happen in a border county would eventually be adopted to, to the adjacent counties. And I don't want this, I don't want any of these emails or any such thing. I don't want my son's school system sending out emails like this and if they do well, yeah i can ignore it but this just emboldens the school system to do this but, you know it's 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 really bottom line it's none of their business what goes on in my home i lock my my guns up i always have one or two loaded in the house whether they're locked up or not because an unloaded gun is a useless gun you don't see people walking around with empty fire extinguishers, right? You don't see them walking around with fire extinguishers. But if you go into a kitchen, whether it's it's a it's a a restaurant, and even some homes have fire extinguishers that are ready to rock and roll, because again, you need that fire extinguisher to work in case you need it. And if there's a fire, you need it. So why are you saying you know you're allowing that? And, and you don't have a problem with that but a gun is different because a gun kills people no a human kills people you can't control what humans do 
You might want to, and I might want to sometimes. But in the end, if 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 that's allowed, then what makes you think they're not going to be coming for the good good people? If they, you know they can't even control the bad people, the, the shit the bad people do. And now for shit like this, they're trying to control what someone who hasn't even violated a law. They're, they're trying to control those folks. Now, again, I don't have a problem with gun safety and school safety, but I don't, you know, if I was in Fairfax County, I'd be very concerned about what's in this, uh, in this gun safety, uh, uh, course that they're saying that they said they have built lessons on gun safety into their curriculum. I would like, I would be demanding to see that because if it reads or is taught with the same tone as this email, it's just a further indoctrination tool for the kids as well I will be concerned that if they will be trying to tell kids to report their parents for shit that that needs to stay behind closed doors for instance if I decide I want to keep a loaded gun unlocked an email like this in the, in the curriculum you know it, their their lesson plans might push my kid even though he's 17 to reach out to CPS and report me even though he's you know he's not encompassed in that law so so you know things like that I might not get dinged for it but it causes problems for me with the law and and agencies such as CPS Again, it, it's it's really none of their business. I don't need people in my business. Um, I'm trying to. I'm not. I don't want to ramble about this because this is another. This is a second video because the first one ran 40 minutes. Um, you're not going to get rid of gun violence with 2A. That's not going to happen. As long as 2A, as long as 2A exists because of the nature of two-way because there's guns there will be accidents there will be mishaps there will be abuse um you, you see abuse with cars you see abuse with lots of different tools that kill people and sometimes they're purposely used to kill people we have seen people run over others you know pedestrians on purpose we've seen people stab folks with knives that really they probably really aren't designed to kill but again most guns are designed for self-defense they're not designed to go out and and commit a mass murder people say guns are made to kill well you know what there's lots of things that are really made for killing but we don't we typically don't kill but in the end, if I need something for self-defense, the last thing I'm worried about is the other guy. If someone's coming after me, I need a weapon. And I use it in self-defense. And, you know, if it was if it, if it was some woman being raped or something, people wouldn't be screaming uh, about, about, you know, gun ownership. But, you know, it's not one of those things where people, you're not going to be able to control others in the way they think and what they do with any tool you're not you can't even try you shouldn't even try to 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 put preventative measures in place to where you know uh, what was that movie the minor the minority report where they were they were charging people with pre-crimes now now we're not we're not that far but again if You've seen people arrested and, and detained for uh, the ATF thinking that someone's made straw purchases and they, that might not be the case, right? Um, you know, things such as that. We should not be afraid of guns and owning them. You should be afraid of people misusing them in a manner such as burglars, thieves, 
mass murders and things like that because they prey on folks that don't have guns you want to fix all this stuff here all of, all of these school shootings put guns in the schools wolves take the lat the path of least resistance in getting their kills you don't see you don't you don't typically see them attacking very large and very armed prey uh, typically you will not see them attacking a healthy buffalo you see them attacking a weak old buffalo or a small starving thin sickly buffalo or a young very young buffalo they rarely ever go for the ones that are well armed and well defended and it's the same with criminals criminals do not typically confront I guess someone that is gonna put a dent in their ass they don't they prey on the weak Typically, you know, I've heard this time and time again by cops. Cops say things like uh, in, in interviews where uh, they're interviewing things like home invasions. You know, they're doing an interview, they're participating in an interview. Uh, and they say outright that they, they've spoken to criminals and the criminals are definitely once they if they break into someone's home and they find out that a homeowner is armed it, there's yeah it, if they do that that's a, it's a mistake and they will go out of their way to avoid confrontation with a home owner that has a gun it's because they they they, they can't they usually they can't now I'm not saying that there haven't been criminals that have broken into homes and because I've seen plenty of videos where there's been shootouts and things like that but it usually does not go well for the person breaking in the house because really you don't know what what that homeowner has uh, the homeowner knows that home uh, that homeowner with a gun is more than likely practiced or has an idea of where to defend it's, it's not just the gun it's the knowledge of okay he has a gun and he knows how to defend himself and he knows where in the house is best is the best defensive position and, and they get scared because they've made an error because they like I said they typically uh, they look for the paths of least resistance and a homeowner with a gun is not right barrier So, so I mean, really, we should not. We should be pushing for people that to, to have guns. Uh, there should be no stipulations on. Oh, you could have it if you've been to training. No, no. There should be no gatekeeping. No gatekeeping allowed. That's not what two A is about. I don't care what you think the four founders said. If they didn't say it, then it's it's not relevant. It's not. Don't try and put things into. The, the forefathers mouth and when you read the, the the Bill of Rights you read it you read it as you have to know the context of of that period because a lot of times it's not straightforward writing as it is now and back then the way it reads it was straightforward to them um, so, so you shouldn't read it as someone who, you know, from the 21st century. You should read it as someone, and, and sometimes this is difficult for people. Uh, it's just like reading the Bible when, when you kind of say, you know, you know that's, this is coming off the cuff. So I have not studied up on a particular Bible verse to kind of leverage for this. But if you've read the Bible before, it's very easy to take stuff out of context because you read it as if 
it was written today or you try and read it as if it was written today and you you can't you can't always do that a lot of times you have to you know, you'll read the scripture especially you know like in bible study they, they teach you certain things you read the scripture and then you go back and you reference it because a lot of times when you reference it you could get an idea of what that what that actually meant you know um a lot of the, the you know the tech and terminology that we use nowadays wasn't used back then in those times and it and the same it's the same case for our you know our founding fathers and, and the documents that they wrote they wrote it based on the time period that they lived and just because our language has changed doesn't mean that we get to change the purpose and 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 the way that that those documents are written it's up to you to kind of do your research now most people will do that but those people that are in denial they're not going to do that because all it's going to do is it's going to help push our cause you know the people that want to be free the people that want those rights to be followed to the letter for someone you know who who you know if you think about it all of the bill of rights they're stacked upon each other all right it's like playing what, what's that wooden game is it jenga if you start pulling out rights here and there and i'm not talking about amended rights I'm not talking about rights over I'm talking about the core ingrained rights. You know, like 1A, 2A, and all those. Those, in my opinion, those are the foundation of, of the Bill of Rights. And if you pluck one of them, one, you're setting precedence for the rest to be plucked. And th there's usually a daisy chain effect. There, there's not, you know, usually they're enmeshed in one another. And a lot of times when someone has a problem with one of their rights being violated, it's not just one. It's several because, like I said, they're ingrained. You know, so so it, it's dangerous to kind of push folks to make changes because modern times need just No, no, they don't. We don't need to live. We don't need to live like uh, Australia. We don't need to live like like the U.K., there's a reason we left the UK, um, and, and it's it's already out there. Everyone knows, even even the the deniers and the anti-gunners that don't want to believe that you know the reasons why we left uh, the, the 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 UK the, the the British umbrella because we weren't being represented, and they were they were they pretty much went rogue. Uh, they they were you know it was a, it was a tyranny. 2A is exactly in place because of that. That is the tool to give us the leverage that we need as a country to fight a tyrannical government. So, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, that's, 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 uh, that's too radical. No, no it's already happened. <laughs> you know, you're, you're saying that, well, anyone that says that they would attack the the government today is a radical it's happened before it's happened before it's written up and down all the rest of the countries of the world saw it happen and they put they put things in place so that they're hold on a second. they put things in place to where their citizens couldn't do that so that's one of the reasons why we're one of the only countries in the world that has 2A. There's one or two others in Europe that has it. Uh, Czech Republic has it as a very uh, open, uh, I guess, policy about about firearms. Um, and there's one or two other, with a Sweden or one of those two other, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Switzerland, and probably not Switzerland, maybe Sweden. Uh, but we're the only ones and to allow 
if someone in Australia to kind of dictate how we need to be as a country, that doesn't, you know, I, I ignore that shit. Or, you know, I do the same thing. If they want to kind of get in there, you know, in someone else, other country's business about how they think it should be ruled, you know, I wait until something happens in their country and I, I start kind of picking, you know, their country's politics apart. You know, if you, if you, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, in, in telling folks that don't live here, uh, you can come here and visit. It, it's a, it's a very big country. It's a very nice country. We have different, you know, we have very nice natural resources and we have people all the time and all over the world coming and visiting and seeing our country. But there's these other countries that kind of want to throw shade and say, well, you guys got too much gun shootings there. How do you know? You ain't never been here. It's not like I'm seeing every year a, a kid get shot in the school and dying or every year at this one particular school. It's not. It's like you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than probably getting shot in a school here. But they're letting the media kind of, they're accepting what's, what the media throws at them and they're, they're just letting it eat at them. If, if, if you live here, now there's certain places in, in the United States that are pretty bad, but that's the case everywhere. You know, it's Chicago, New York City has bad crime. Uh, and they, you know, all of those places, Chicago, like uh, L.A., um, San Francisco, they have all these shootings and all these like super strict gun rules. And they're the worst places with, with, with gun shootings. On every day, there's always something going on in Chicago, in D.C., in New York City. And, you know, all of the big cities. And they, they've got these very strict gun control, you know, these gun these gun rules. And and it's still happening. Worse than any other place in the, in the country. They, they, they try to control it, and it just, it's almost like they make it worse. And, and the problem with that is, is like, the criminals, they don't have any problems getting access to guns. It's the common citizen that needs to protect from the criminals that are affected by those fucked up laws. So we're going to stop now because we're at the 30 minute mark. Again, I thought that I was going to make this short, but I think this, this video edit kind of flowed quite a bit better than the other one that I did. So we're going to go ahead and, and wrap this up and publish it. All right. Uh, you guys have fun. Always, you know, if you haven't donated to any of the, the, the big, I, I don't donate to the, the NRA. Um, even, you know, it's like they're, they're, I don't donate to them because of the bad press and bad things that they've done and the things, you know, they need to straighten up before they get my money. But there are other agencies out there that fight the fight for someone such as me and, and, and the viewership, right? So, uh, Guns of America, FPC, and there's there's a couple of there's a couple of other ones. Uh, if you want to donate to a to a state level organization instead of a national organization such as GOA, go ahead and do it. You know, feed feed that fire so that you can have you know because you, we're having a hard time getting our government reps to to push things for us. We can use these these organizations such as GOA to poke and prod them and and kind of force some things down their throat. Uh, so I mean, you, you spare what you can. I swear, every time I I hear an uproar about the ATF or something like that, or or see that GOA made some headway in something, I throw them a, a, some change. Any if everyone did that. They would just go ape shit. So uh, you know, feed feed the feed the engine there and help them push for us. But uh, all right, bye bye.